Hey family. Hello everyone. Welcome back. Um, I am doing a reading on a missing person. Her name is Jennifer L. Peterson. I just happened to come across um, checking out Archie Fox True Crime. He's always posting um, daily when it comes to the missing. So shout out to Arctic Fox True Crime. Um, let me see. I think Jennifer is 37 years, years old. And she is known for, you know, changing up her hairstyle as well as her hair color. Here is one picture. Hold up. Let me see something. Here is one picture of her. Hold on. <clears throat> Here are some others to where you see her looks kind of change a little bit. Um, over to the right, you can see she's wearing glasses, and her hair color looks kind of dark, and to the left, you know, her hair looks kind of blondish-like. Um, let me see here, family. Give me a minute. <clears throat> I'm trying to find that um, article that I had seen earlier. Let me see here. Hold on one. Give me a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to be using this image right here concerning Jennifer. She looks cute. She kind of look kind of book smart looking. Kind of reminds me of a teacher. Um, let me see here. Lacrosse woman reported missing. Let me see. It stated that she went missing family September the 27th. She was last seen on Tuesday, September 27th, um, 2022. From La Crosse, Wisconsin. And as I stated, she is 37 years old. La Crosse, Wisconsin officers in La Crosse um, County are asking for the public help to find a woman who went missing last September of last year, okay? Friends and family say 37-year-old Jennifer Peterson told them she wanted to relocate. So she wanted to relocate from La Crosse. Their last contact with her came on September the 27th. So she left. Let me see here. She left. Okay, 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 okay. So their last contact with her, with her was on the 27th. They add that she has a history of living in different areas of Wisconsin and has also lived in other states as well. Law enforcement says there is also reason to be, uh, to be concerned about her safety. So obviously they know more. They know, you know, more than we know. Um, they know something about her for them to, you know, say such a thing. Let me just say that. And I'm also wondering why did, why is she moving around so much? You know, that crossed my mind also. You know, what's going on with her to where she's constantly moving around? It's, I mean, is she trying to get away from somebody? Um... Is she being stalked? You know, what's up with that? It has here, they added that she has a history of living in different areas of Wisconsin and has also lived in other states. Law enforcement says there is also reason to be concerned for her safety. Peterson is described as 5'5", five five, um, weighing 155 pounds with blue eyes and naturally blonde hair. She did recently dye her hair blonde. Okay, naturally brown hair. I apologize. 
They say she has naturally brown hair, hair, but she recently dyed her hair blonde. No further information was released. Anyone with information is asked to contact the La Crosse County Sheriff's Office at 608-782-7575. So anyway, family, y'all know her family did not ask me to do this reading. Um, this is just a labor of love. Uh, no, no matter what you hear in this reading concerning, um, Ms., I'm calling her Miss Jennifer, okay? Concerning Miss Jennifer, who is presently missing, uh, it's not fact, it is allegedly, okay? But I am led by the spirit, and there is some truth in my reading. Please know that. Um, and we know just because, you know, she's been missing only a year, it doesn't mean she's deceased. Um, sometimes people just don't want to be bothered. Let me just say that. Or they can be running from their past. Um, just depends on what was going on in her life. So anyway, I'm going to be using uh, this picture right here. I've already kind of got started on the reading. I was trying to get an idea of what I was looking at. Let me just say that. I was using my homemade, um, the present situation reveal deck, okay? And um, I would like scanning it over, okay? I'm scanning it over. And one thing I do see here, you know, um, concerning Jennifer, I see that she has a strong family um, bond. You know, her family unit is very strong. So that's good. Um, she has loving, um, strong bond with her family. So I'm definitely picking up on that. I also, this is, this also came out right here. This is very interesting. I'm not going to share everything. I want to see what's going to come back out. But this says, secrets, they question what they know. So this lets me know about someone who's holding onto information. It's like they know a lot, but they're not speaking up on it. You know, it has here a secret, you know, question, secret, um, an individual staying silent due to what they know, okay? So, according to the spirit, allegedly, you know, Jennifer is holding on to some information. She's staying silent about something. It could be about someone or about something. So, that's interesting also. Because in the back of my mind, I kept wondering, why does she move around so much? I, mean, I know people do it. You know, they might stay in one location for a year, and then they move. But it seemed like, it seemed like to me, she's, she's running from something or someone. But anyway... Uh, I feel like this needs to be really looked into right here. Uh, secret, you know, question what they know. Now, it has here, blindsided, cut off guard. For me to get this right here, this is someone who's not focused, okay? This individual is not focused. They're very distracted on the wrong things or, or on the wrong individuals, okay? From what I'm seeing here, it looked like something could have jumped off with Jennifer. Let me just say that. Um, I'm seeing like several different scenarios of things that could have jumped off with her. But um, I'm all about repeated messages because I know the truth doesn't change. But anyway, um, this right here lets me know that wherever she was as far as her last known location, she was out with friends, okay, whoever these so-called friends are. She was definitely having fun. Could have been partying, drinking. Um, I don't know what she's into. I don't know if she drinks. You know, she does drugs as, small, as far as, you know, a little puff puff. Um, only her loved ones would know are those that are close to her. But this lets me know that she was out having fun. Um, whether she was at home having fun, she could have had some company, or she stepped out. You know, and um, she could have went to a bar or she could went over a friend's house. She could have went to a, a, a social gathering. But that's what this is letting me know about, okay? And if y'all can't hardly see, I apologize. I'm pretty much, you know, reading the message. So, anyway, this was, this is saying, you know, partying with friends, having fun, okay? And we know a lot can go on when it comes to, you know, partying. Um, and then I also let me know something about something about blindsided. Now, this right here says 
was dropped off by an ex. But I don't know if she was driving to the location when she moved or did someone, you know, was somebody helping her as far as was somebody else doing the driving. That part, I don't know. There's not a lot of information about Miss Jennifer. This says was dropped off was dropped off by an ex. And I'm not accusing the ex of anything. Um, I'm not really sure what this means, okay? Um, it could have been, they could have been dropping her off at her new location where, you know, she was currently staying at. Um, or a ex could be um, someone of interest as far as um, could know of some information concerning um, Jennifer location, her last known location. But anyway, was dropped off by ex. Something about business property just came out also. Some kind of business property. Now, this came out. It's, it's a picture of fire. And it says, getting rid of evidence or a person. But it does not have to be the case. When I think about fire, I think about heated emotion. I think about arguments and fight. Okay? A uh, person... Um, emotion going from one to ten. I think about things like that. So, like I said, something could have jumped off. And this was kind of alarming. This says swelling, pain, hurt, and weakened. You know, no matter what you say, it's a legend. You know, okay, I like I always say, let things play out. This says swelling, pain, hurt, and weakened. This says accident drowning, or somebody could have drowned. Now, remember, if a person is very, very emotional, you know, I can get drowning also. As somebody drowning in their emotion, you know, due to grief and sorrow, I can get that also. Uh, a lot of times, it's key words that are clue. It has here accident. It could have been an accident and it had nothing to do with her drowning. But anyway, it says accident, and it also says drowning or drowned. But we also know a person can be drowning in their sorrow. This right here says, got lost, wander off, keep searching. This says, Violent, removed, and taken. It says taken and also the word steal. Okay? But with this message, it's just letting me know that allegedly something could have happened to her to where she could have been taken in a violent manner. Okay? Against her will or removed from one location um, to another. Let me just say that. Now, these are just some clues. Also, it says here, carjack as well, okay? These are just some clues. But what stands out to me is violent removed. Carjacking may not even be a factor. But violent being violent removed, that stands out to me. Now, this is allegedly, okay? Um, I'm just a messenger, uh, I am going to reshuffle this deck. It's, it's, it's very thick, as you see. And I want to see who's going to come back out. All right? But remember, it's allegedly. And also, it has here um, something about disability. I don't know anything about Jennifer having a disability. There are all kinds of disabilities. Let me just say that. You can have a mental disability. Um, now, if this is not pertaining to her, it could be somebody that she know that has a disability or maybe whatever their vehicle they're driving, it could be like a vehicle, I'm sorry, it can be like maybe a disability sign in their, um, vehicle, but anyway, something about, um, with a disability, okay?
And then who knows? You know, she, she could have been in an accident, you know, especially if she was driving, um, allegedly. Uh, I'm not wishing anything negative on this sister. Um, I never know why certain information come out the way it do. Um, but I just trust what I'm seeing because it's something to it. And this says inside a whale falling or push. It just randomly came out. She may not be inside of a whale, but she could be in a location where there is a whale, okay? These are just clues. These are just clues, okay? Maybe the property that, that she lives, that she was living on, or, or she could be living near, um, that property could have a whale, okay? It just, a lot of this is clues. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to reshuffle, all right, family? And I just want to see what comes back out. As you see, it's very thick. I'm going to put it on the bottom and reshuffle. Seeking clearance on the disappearance of Jennifer Lee Patterson. Is it Patterson? I think it's Peterson. I apologize. Seeking clearance on the disappearance of Jennifer Lee Peterson. What led up to her disappearance? What happened to Jennifer? Seeking clarity. Spirit, now I don't know if she was presently in a relationship, but according to the spirit, she's been struggling in relationships, okay? She's been struggling in relationships to where she felt very powerless in those relationships, and she was trying to get her power back. But this lady we know struggling in relationships. Also, when we saw that picture of a whale, remember that? Um... That was a word that said inside. So according to the spirit, she's inside of maybe a structure. Um, allegedly, she could be inside of water. I'm just saying, okay. It looks like she's inside of something. Uh, it could be a. It can be actually a building. She could be inside. But anyway, let's continue, okay? Because so far, I'm getting inside. Like this is a prime example. Uh, inside your home, crime or incident. It could be her home or somebody else's home. Victim was a liability to someone, a risk or owed to someone else. It has here a picture of water. Doesn't mean she's in water. She could be somewhere near water. But we did see the word drown. Um, something about a RV or somebody that owns a trailer. Um, this is definitely a clue, okay? And see, I don't know how, I don't know how she was traveling. I mean, was she driving herself? Um, was she driving a trailer? You know, um, I don't know. I mean, does she have an ex that owns a trailer? This is very significant right here. It says RV or a trailer. Now, 
Now, remember, I was asking, why in the world does she move around so much? I mean, is she running from her past? You know, is she being stalked? This right here says, someone has been stalking, harassing them with harmful threats, communication, acts of violence. Now, this is allegedly, a big time allegedly, but this also would let me know why she's moving around so much. It's like she's trying to get away from somebody. Allegedly. I'm going to read it again, okay? Someone has been stalking, harassing them with harmful threats, communication, and acts of violence. So is this an ex, excuse me, that she was running from? How it has here struggling in relationships. You know, this is the one that feels uh, helpless and they're trying to get their power back. Because they pretty much gave their power uh, away over to someone who's abusing it. This says, both couple decision and choices, partnership alliance. So this speaks about a couple and also um, coming together for a common goal. Now, this speaks about two individuals that you can say that could be in the know as far as her, you know, what happened to Jennifer, or it could be speaking about Jennifer and somebody else. Okay, that's another um, factor to this case um, that could be in the know about her whereabouts. But it speaks about two couples. It said both couples. And it has here, not ready to commit, not now. So somebody was not ready to commit. And I don't know when Jennifer was doing all this traveling, you know, going from one location to the next. I don't, I don't know how she was traveling. Was she was traveling by bus, you know, by plane? Was she, you know, driving a uh, a car, a truck? I don't know. Um, but somebody was driving a car. Okay. Now Jennifer Carr, if she if she actually owned a vehicle, it may not be blue, but this is a car. It just happens to be blue. Now, remember, we saw something about business. Um, I forgot what that message has said. But if you go back and watch the spread I did before this one, one of them came out something about business. Um, it has here, conflict of interest. A policeman knows or is related to the Joker suspect. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, this is allegedly, okay? What I want to know is, who does Jennifer know that has been harassing her? Because I'm sure she's being, you know, paranoid because she's constantly moving quite often as though she's trying to get away from somebody. But who is it that she knows that's been harassing her that has a family member that's in law enforcement. I say that because it has here conflict of interest. A policeman knows or is related to the suspect joker. Now, I'm not saying that she's deceased, even though we saw that message saying deceased, but this is a clue whoever that was harassing her, okay, they got pulled. They got pulled. They either know someone that's in the law enforcement that has their back, that can protect them, or they could be related to someone in the law enforcement. And I hate to say this, family, you know, it is what it is. You know, police officers, they are human too. And you better believe they're going to protect their own, whether it's their own kind. I call them the blue force, the blue gang, or their family members. And they have a lot of family members that they know ain't shit. If you know what I mean, okay? Pretty much, you know, they know that it constantly, you know, gets in trouble all the time, but they protect them. So, anyway, this is interesting. So, now I'm wondering who is it that she know? Like I said, it could have been harassing her, um, but this individual knows someone that can protect them in the law enforcement. You know, uh, does her ex, you know, have a family member that's in law enforcement? Just saying. Because that's a clue. 
It has here a residential area, houses, hotel, motel, mobile home, and home. And we also saw this. See, so see, everything really depends on where she moved. You know, did she move? Did she move as far as like buying a house? Did she rent a house, or did she end up meeting someone that was living in a inside of a home? You know, or, or any one of these right here. Cause this is definitely a clue. Something happened inside of someone's home to where she was affected. It says inside your home, but who home? Hers. It has here a residential area, a house, a hotel, motel, mobile home. And remember, we did see trailer and RV. But I think about someone who's, you know, traveling in one of the in one of those. But people do also live in trailers as well when they are traveling on the go. And it has here question neighbor. So wherever Jennifer was staying at, her family family need to question the neighbors that live close by in that area where she was living. I'm sure they know a lot and they've seen a lot. Let me just say that. Let's go around one more time, okay? I don't want to make this video that long. Uh, I can always come back and revisit um, this reading. Maybe, you know, within... I, I would like to wait maybe at least within three weeks. Cause I, like, I like for my readers to play out. And I like to give my my readings time because, um, you know, I know the family members still, you know, seeking answers concerning their loved one. The authorities are, are only going to tell them so much. Let me just say that they always hold on to information. As you see, they feel like, you know, her life is in, is in danger. So they know something. They know what they know. That's recent clarity on the disappearance of Jennifer Lee Peterson. It led up to her disappearance. Yeah. Something happened at home. If not her home, somebody home. And remember, we did see the word partying. So like I said, was she partying at her home, at her location, or did she go to somebody else's home partying? Something happened. Yeah, something happened to her too. Something happened to her that, that acquired medical attention. You know, it could have been an accident, but some but something definitely jumped off. Something jumped off. Suspect. Now the suspect would be the Joker, the person of interest. Suspect knows someone who knows the victim. So it could be acquaintance of somebody that's also in the know. It looks like to me she wasn't in a good place uh, mentally and emotionally before she left. Lack self-control, emotions, sexual, bad habits, overspending, negative behavior allegedly, do not feel worthiness, they do not feel they deserve all good things, happiness, love, support, companionship, and friendship, allegedly. This is how somebody feels, reaping what they sow. Somebody, um, it has here, um, please on sinful nature, being rude and mean spirit. 
Um, this is someone's energy. Let me say that. I'm not going to say it's Jennifer, but it could be someone that she could have crossed paths with that's very um, rude and mean spirit. Conceals feelings and intentions, not being honest. Betrayal due to sexual or abuse of power. Um, well, abuse, period, by a caregiver. Um, experiencing betrayal or trauma. This can be like, a, this could be maybe something that she could have experienced maybe in her past. Allegedly, okay? But it stands out to me the word betrayal. And anytime I see the word betrayal, I think about somebody that you know, okay? According to the spirit, Jennifer is very nurturing, generous, and caregiving. Very, you know, giving. Uh, whatever happened to her requires medical help and um, definitely medical attention, okay? Emergency. And maybe she got the help, you know? I want pleasure, happiness, joy, contentment, and growth. Now, I don't know anything about Jennifer having any children, okay? It's not much information out there about her. But this says, baby alert, pregnant with child, someone is. It may not be her. It could be somebody that she could have been seeing that could have been unfaithful, and they could have gotten somebody pregnant. Now, first we saw a, uh, a vehicle that was a car, and that just happens to be blue. This is another vehicle. This is an SUV, and um, it looks red, but anyway. Now, the color red can be a factor or just something significant about an SUV. You know, was she driving an SUV? Does her ex drive an SUV? And it has here, home. As you see, it's something significant about home. Something happened at home. Somebody's home. And it has here, endings due to a relationship. It says death or endings, okay? But as you see, it has relationships. And it has here, unbalanced individual. I have an idea, like a private reading on her as far as me getting an idea of her mental state. But the fact that I'm seeing some of these uh, messages down here, you know, obviously she still wasn't in a good place. Let me just say that. Um, and if you are very emotional, that can make you unbalanced as well, okay? And we all have been there before. But anyway, it has here, unbalanced individual. Pretty much somebody that's not focused and, you, and you, you're very emotional. You know, it's like you're all over the place. And if you're someone that could have been paranoid thinking somebody out to get you, you know, that can cause you to be uh, unbalanced as well. Mentally and emotionally. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm seeing some things in here that I don't like. And if many of you been, you know, checking your sister out and you've been watching my videos, you know, a lot of times when I, get, when I get, you know, information saying no positive movement forward, you better believe it's something about that message um, that rings true, okay, in some form of fashion. Uh, when I get, like, um, the messages are coming out letting me know about rabbit holes and the authorities, the authorities are not really, you know, putting effort in a case. 
you better believe it's something to that, okay? And we already see that whomever this individual is that Miss Jennifer knows, it looks like they got some kind of pull when it comes to authority. They either know someone, you know, um, that's holds an authority figure. Um, it could be a cop that could protect them for whatever reason. Sometimes people can pay people off. Um, it happens all the time in the streets. Um, or, you know, this, this so-called, you know, authority figure can be a family member, right? So anyway, I'm getting southeast, and I know this doesn't really help because I'm not really sure where she is, to be honest with you. All I know is they say that she she moves around a lot. But anyway, I got here southeast. Um, it has here, question those in power who turns a blind eye. And please know, uh, the authorities know more than what they're saying. They're holding on to evidence, but they do know the fact that they know what they know, okay? The fact that they know what they know, they know that um, it's a good chance that um, she can be, in, you know, in danger also. Um, question those in power who turns a blind eye. It has here detoxing from substance, getting rid of unhealthy people or things. So I think about someone that's, you know, backing off from individuals that no longer serve them or detoxing from drugs or alcohol. It has here, this is someone now, if it's not Jennifer, it can be somebody that's a part of this equation. Someone is unbalanced spiritually. They are full of greed. They value things more than the spirit. Has no connection with this person. Do not feel appreciated and understood. Lack communication. So they damn somebody that she was seeing, okay? For her to be feeling like this. And somebody wasn't all that committed anyway. Regret. Forgive, accept, and heal so you can move forward. So you or they can move forward. Making a decision due to being emotionally or in desperation. Feeling rush or pressure. Has a mental conflict. Not moving forward. Not able to let go of someone or something. This could be Jennifer or this is someone as far as how they feel about her. Maybe they can't let her go. Or this could be Jennifer. Maybe something that she's holding on to that's hard for her to let go. They are looking for love in all the wrong places. They lack patience, not using good judgment. Blast from the past. And remember, remember saw that X card? We saw that X. Blast from the past. Reunited hookup reunion. So who is this individual? It's somebody from her past. Who is this individual? It's somebody from her past. We did see the messy saying X. Out of sight, I am not seen or heard. So she could be somewhere isolated alone. If she's still with us, okay? But if she's not, like the message say, out of sight. Has a healthy, strong family foundation in harmony. This is just confirmation that her family structure is very strong. So the way I see it, if she wasn't going through anything, I would think that since I'm getting this message, has a healthy, strong family foundation, and there's harmony, I would think that she would be able to go to her family members if, if she was, you know, going through some things. And who knows? I mean, they probably know more than what I'm saying, but 
this lets me know that her family is somebody that she can lean on, that she can go to, you know, if she was in trouble, um, maybe for whatever reason, you know, she she wasn't going to them as far as letting them know what was going on with her. Maybe she didn't want to involve them, you know, as far as uh, get them caught up in, in her, you know, uh, mess, shall I say. Maybe that's her way of protecting her family. It just depends on how deep this scenario is. All I know is she's constantly moving here and there. Only her family member would know that. I'm sure they asked her, you're kind of around, you're constantly moving, you know. You never stay anywhere too long. Well, why are you moving around so much? This says Earth. Um, this lets me know about feminine mother infertility. Like I said, it's a good chance she um, could have been expecting, okay? Unfaithful, not loyal, false friends or spouse or lover. I said it was the last one, didn't I? This is the last one, actually. Hold on. I just flipped on over. And this speaks volume also. Look what it says here. Has a mental conflict, not moving forward, not able to let go of someone or something. Now, if this is the case, because um, we did see blasts from the past, hooking up with somebody from the past. Um, this individual wasn't for her highest good to be around. Let me just say that, okay? It came right back out. It has a mental conflict. I keep, getting, I keep getting the word conflict. Something about conflict. Somebody not ready to commit. Yeah, I got about maybe three or four conflict messages in here. Mm -hmm. Now, see, see how, see how when, my, when my reading starts to, to repeat, it's something to look at. Because this deck is quite thick. Let me say that. All right, I'm going to to end this um, reading, family. Um, I just wanted to go back over it. I can always come back to this um, reading another time. I just wanted to get a little idea of what's going on. Now, this message did come out earlier, and I flipped it over. Like it must be, so, it must be something to it. I'm just saying, um, if it's not on her end, because we did get that somebody's not committed. If it's not on her end, it can be on the end of this X. Let me just say that allegedly. But it has here. I'm just going to show it. I put it down the first time and it came right back out. And I can't control what comes out. Okay. Look what else came back out. Not ready to commit. Not now. So who was she saying? Because this individual was not ready to commit. Not ready to commit. And look what else came back out. The vehicle. It's blue. It happened to be blue. But a car came right back out. Look what else came back out. House. How many times we seen the word house? I think we saw what maybe three times. Residential area, house, a hotel, a motel, a mobile home. It's something significant about this. So where, where where did she where did she move? I mean, did she move into a house or into one of these right here? Just saying. And remember, we did see a RV and trailer. Does an ex own one of them? Betrayal, harm within attachments, relationships, parent or child or partner.
trauma, disassociation, mental escape, emotionally overwhelmed, cannot cope any longer. So this is the one that wants an outlet, okay? Um, you're looking for an escape, let me just say that. Anyway, trauma and um, dissociation, feeling uh, mentally overwhelmed. And this could be the case. Unres unresolving conflict, trouble due to love, lack of empathy, lack of compassion, or understanding, very unbalanced. Now, if this is um, allegedly, um, if this is Jennifer Energy, um, she definitely was unbalanced mentally, okay? Caught up in the moment due to being preoccupied and distracted. This can be a factor, family. It's allegedly, okay? Illegal drug use. That alone will have you very distracted and not focused. Pulling away from the person who betrayed them, walking away. And if and if Jennifer does not do um, drugs, it could be someone that she knows that could be into, you know, illegal use of um, drug use, or they could be selling them. Could be one or the other. Life is out of balance. Need to reduce stress and live a balanced life. Of course, your spirit, you know, the path that she was on, you know, her life was out of balance. Pretty much poor judgment as far as how she was moving out here. Victim was a liability to someone or owed to someone else. Get rid of them. Conflict of interest. A policeman knows or is related to the Joker suspect. This came out two times. It's something uh, It's something to this. And remember, we saw a blast from the past. So who is this individual that she know, that she knew from the past, that she reconnected with? Who is that? Because they got ties. Now I'm wondering what she's dealing with a drug dealer, allegedly. Because they do have ties to officers as well. You know, they, they have some certain officers on their payroll. Please know that. Thinking negative, putting others down with aggression, behavior, very unhealthy, and narcissism. And narcissism. It looked like she was dealing with a butthole. Now I'm wondering, is this so-called individual have been harassing her? And here go that word, conflict. Conflict, a serious disagreement or argument with someone. <clears throat> Attached to the current structure of power, fame, and money. Has a mental conflict, not moving forward, not able to let go of someone or something. Concealed feelings of intention, very secretive, has motive. And both couples. So is is. This so-called both couples, Jennifer and somebody that she knows, both couple, decision and choices, partnership alliance, that's hooking up with someone for common goal. Do for me, I do for you. Pretty much hook, hooking up with somebody, period, period. And it can be business related. It can be business related, okay? Oh, goodness. Mm.
So as you see, when the messages start to repeat, it's something to look at, all right? And I know we saw a lot of messages here that was giving us the, well, let me just say this, that was coming off kind of dark, like, and I apologize, I can't control what comes out, but um, all I know is it's something to these messages, that's all I gotta say. All we can do is hope for the best that if she is alive, she will find her way back home, okay? Cause it looked like to me she'd make a lot of poor choices before she went missing. Okay, it looked like to me she'd make a lot of poor choices as far as um, her action and also hooking up with the wrong kind of individual. Let me just say that. I'm going to end it. I want to see something. I'm just trying to get a little peeky boo what's going on in that head of hers when it comes to the communication factor, who she was communicating with. I, I'm, I'm trying to get an idea of the relate of the conversation. You know, what did they what could have what could have that conversation could have been about, okay? It's allegedly, but just trying to see. It has here, I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. So this is someone that see this lesson as something to be learned, okay? They, they pretty much learned the lesson. It may be too late, but maybe not. I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. I love you. You came closer than anyone. You came closer than anyone. At the head... It's time for me to heal now. I hope that you can forgive me one day. We need to let each other go. So this is the one who's breaking up with somebody or backing off. I wish I had treated you better. Now, if a lot of this is not Jennifer energies, it could be the energy of the individual that she was um, in relations with, okay? It's time for me to heal now. I wish I had treated you better. I love you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I wish I had treated you better. You came closer than anyone. We need to let each other go. I wish I had treated you better. I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. You get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes people be like seeking closure when it comes to their ex. You know, they'll like hook up and meet up with meet up with them again for whatever reason. All right, I'm going to leave it there, family. I want to leave it there. Uh, I'm going to just pray that, you know, Jennifer will um, be found, okay? Definitely, I'm definitely praying that she's still with us, no matter what we saw here, okay? You know, with God, all things are possible. Like I said, you know, uh, maybe she's having some kind of, you know, um, mental 
break down or uh, whatever the case may be. Um, because she is running from something or someone, please know that, all right? Um, but if that's not the case, uh, like something could have happened to the sister. So let's just keep her in prayer, Miss Jennifer Lee Peterson, and much love to her family members. If you happen to come across this, you know, um, video, I'm sending you all my love, and I'm praying that your loved one will be found um, no matter what. And there's nothing like closure. Um but I, I don't like to put the authorities down, okay? Because there's some awesome cops out here. And to me, I feel like there's more bad apples than there are good apples. I hate to say that. But anyway, um, the way this reading is looking, you know, things are moving very slow in this case. And it doesn't seem like they're putting a lot of effort in this case in the way that matters, okay? It, it would really take for the public to really push uh, and get on the authorities to really stay on this case because it's always people going missing and a lot of times they can get overloaded and also like I say you know when people got pulled you know um they can have it to where they they authorities would turn a blind eye also okay because they came out my reading turning a blind eye and people also can know people that can protect them but anyway I wish um her family all the best I thank you all for taking the time to watch thank you for caring and um, I'm going to end it right here. Send me love and light towards Jennifer um, Peterson Way. And uh, I just pray she find her way back. Okay? If she's still with us in the land of the living. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, give me a like. I appreciate it. This will help to push this video out there. And thank you for watching.